I'm Destin, and this is IGN News. Jupiter's largest moon, Ganymede, may have a subterranean saltwater ocean that is thought to have more water than all the water on Earth's surface. The underground body of water is estimated to be 60 miles 100 kilometers deep, up to 10 times deeper than the Earth's oceans, and lays under a 95 mile 150 kilometer shell of ice and rock, said John Grunsfeld, Associate Administrator of NASA's Science Mission Directorate, in a prepared statement. In its 25 years in orbit, Hubble has made many scientific discoveries in our own solar system, Grunsfeld adds. A deep ocean under the icy crust of Ganymede opens up further exciting possibilities for life beyond Earth. Ganymede, the largest moon in our solar system, is the only satellite with its own magnetic field. Its field generates aurorate that rocks back and forth when Jupiter's own magnetic field changes. Using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, a team of scientists at the University of Cologne monitored Ganymede's auroral belts and found that the amount of rocking in the magnetic field suggests that the moon has a subsurface saltwater ocean. I was always brainstorming how we could use a telescope in other ways, the project lead said in a prepared statement. Is there a way you could use a telescope to look inside a planetary body? Then I thought, the aurorate! Because aurorate are controlled by the magnetic field. If you observe the aurorate in an appropriate way, you learn something about the magnetic field. If you know the magnetic field, then you know something about the moon's interior. The news follows a reveal by scientists earlier this week that Saturn's sixth largest moon, Enceladus, is now believed to be the most habitable body ever discovered outside of Earth. The ice moon's south pole resembled deep oceans on Earth, with a heated ocean exhibiting ongoing hydrothermal activity. NASA scientists also recently discovered that Mars may once have had a massive ocean covering half of its northern hemisphere. For more news from space and crazy pronunciations that I have a terrible time at, you're in the right place. IGN.